This illustration is about adiabatic exponent for a mixture of gases, the concept which we have already studied in concept videos. Here we are analyzing the similar thing. We are given that two gases having adiabatic exponents gamma 1 and gamma 2 are mixed with n1 and n2 moles. We are required to find the effective adiabatic exponent of the mixture and generalize the relation for n gases. Here when the two gases are mixed, we can consider they are at same temperature so that no heat exchange will take place. So, even if it takes place, it won't make any difference because the total energy of gas will remain constant. So, we can write uh, at a common temperature the internal energy. of gases remain constant. This implies here we can use internal energy of first gas plus internal energy of second gas must be given by here for the first gas it is N1 CVT. So, this can be written as N1 by gamma 1 minus 1 RT plus N2 by gamma 2 minus 1 RT. This is the internal energy, total internal energy of the gas. When the gases are at temperature T. Now we can write if for the mixture gamma effective is the effective adiabatic exponent then internal energy of gas more precisely we should write gaseous mixture is written as here we can write the total internal energy is equals to for the mixture total number of moles are n1 plus n2. So, we can write n1 plus n2 by gamma effective minus 1 multiplied by RT. And we can write as energy is conserved. Here we can use n1 plus n2 by gamma effective minus 1 RT is equals to this n1 by gamma 1 minus 1 RT plus n2 by gamma 2 minus 1 RT. And here RT gets cancelled out and we get a relation. This n1 plus n2 by gamma effective minus 1 is n1 by gamma 1 minus 1 plus n2 by gamma 2 minus 1. And from this relation, we can calculate the value of gamma effective directly. And this similar relation we can write for n gases in a mixture. If we generalize this relation, which is n1 plus n2 by gamma effective minus 1, which is sum of the individual internal energies, for n gases in a mixture, we can write n1 plus n2 plus n so on up to n n divided by gamma effective minus 1 should be equals to n1 by gamma 1 minus 1 plus n2 by gamma 2 minus 1 plus and so on up to n n by gamma for nth gas minus 1. So, this is the relation using which we can calculate directly the effective adiabatic exponent for a mixture of gases that is the result of this problem.